Hello, welcome back to the uh, third video uh, for week nine um, PPD1 pre lab video uh, verification. So, we've looked at um, some specific um, clinical and, and other uh, things that we're verifying in the verification process. Um, but one of the things we want to point out that I think will be helpful to you in lab this week is uh, some of the drug information resources that you'll have available to yourself. So, First one we're going to look at um, is LexiComp. I'll also uh, go through facts and comparisons for you. Um, you can use whichever, you know, in different settings you may have access to Lexi or facts and comparisons um, or another resource. They're, they're all similar. Um, but with, with Lexi, um, you can see we've got a, a search field. I believe you've had the opportunity to log in and use this uh, to, to a little extent. Um, but putting in a medication, uh, searching the medication, we can click on it. Um, and now we're going to be able to get uh, basic, well, a lot of detailed information. A lot more information than what you're going to need for this lab. But, um, but really, you can come here, and if you have questions about any of the medications you're seeing, uh, begin to look them up. So what are the brand names? Uh, we can start to get the different things that this medication can be used for. Um, so this lisinopril can be used for patients with a heart attack, a MI, heart failure, uh, where this medication is used a lot is, is in hypertension. Um, so yeah, we can begin to see some of those things. We can get clinical guidelines um, and links to those which are going to be helpful um, to be able to find. Uh, a big thing for this lab though is the, the dosages and being able to identify um, you know, what, what our appropriate dose is uh, the strengths as well as how often they're going to be taken. So um, this is where you can come to find information about that to make sure that um, the prescriptions that are written make sense, that they're written for appropriate dosage forms. Um, other things, you know, we, there's, again, like I said, a lot of information, you know, how um, how medication comes, um, what the different names of it may be, and how uh, those dosages come, uh, whether in generic or the brand name. So we can see, um, you know, we have generic lisinopril, or we have Zestril, or we have Prinavil, um, and different dosages with, with each of those. Um, pharmacology, kinetics, um, which you'll learn more about. But again, just a lot of information about these medications. So, so being able to come here and, and use this to, to find out things about medications that you, you don't currently know. Uh, will help you answer some of the questions for your workflow uh, handout. Um, another thing we'll be using in the workflow handout or for the workflow handout is this interactions portion. So, um, so we can begin to, to put different medications um, in here, search for these uh, medications, and it'll actually kind of help you out and, and populate um, some of this, the screens for you and, and analyze. So once we type those medications into the, the field, then we can click Analyze and start to get drug-drug interactions. So um, if I click on that, now I'm going to get a summary of what that interaction is. Um, so in lab this week, we will have you, um, you know, not necessarily thinking through deep clinical things and, and figuring out what we need to do, but just begin to be able to identify interactions, which medications are interacting with which medications, um, and getting a feel for that because that is a, a big part of the verification process and our drug-related problems, and this is one place we can come to help us think through some of those things. Um, something else we'll be doing in lab um, is, is identifying medications. So in the verification process, we want to make sure that uh, we have the right medication in the bottle. Um, we'll also have patients that will ask us questions about different medications, um, what medication is. Um, and so being able to identify a medication uh, is going to be important. So we have different sides. Uh, we'll have imprints or numbers or letters um, that we can put in and uh, begin to you know, see the different medications that would have uh, 356 as well as other markings on them. So we can see different uh, medications begin to pop up. Um, but this is a way to verify when you're looking at a pill in a bottle uh, versus you know, what uh, 
uh, the label says it's supposed to be in there to make sure that the right medication that is in fact um, the, the medications is labeled on the bottle. So, um, so in lab this week we will have you identifying uh, drugs based on their um, imprint codes um, to to begin to to help um, guide you through this. So again, that's why it's going to be important for you to bring a laptop uh, to lab with you this week uh, so that you have access um, to uh, some of these drug information resources. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, as you can see, there's a, there's a lot more here in Lexi that you can do, but for lab this week, uh, we're going to be focusing on, on those, um, those different uh, functions uh, with the workflow handout. Um, I will do one more video on facts and comparisons, um, so thank you for watching.